thanks for joining class today. This is Kendall with TC Fit. We have strength. Um, this is the that last just virtual only class. Um, but we have um, two blocks of work today. Go ahead and come into a wide stance. And we're gonna start with body weight squats. Um, two blocks of work. So same format that we did on Monday. Um, first block is gonna be all low body. Second block is gonna be all upper body. If you are tracking your workouts, go ahead and start your devices. Get mine rolling. Two more. Last one, take your right foot, step it behind the left, reach up and over. Same thing, other side. So alternating here. And as always, grab a plethora of weights. You're gonna need light, medium, and heavy. Okay, one more each side. Last one. Let's do a little inchworm. If you have your mat out, come to the front edge of your mat. You're gonna hinge it forward, hands come down to the floor, walk it out to that high plank position, hold it here. Squeeze your glutes, pull up and out of the shoulders. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Reach the right arm up, set it back down. Replace your foot, same thing other side. Left, twist, rotate. Return, replace the foot. Let's do this one more time each side. Twist, rotate, set it back down. Replace other side last time. Twist, rotate, set your hand back down. Replace, now pike your hips up toward the ceiling, hold it here, and you're just gonna pedal through your feet. Downward facing dog, lengthening through your sacrum, your calf muscles hamstrings, this is a dynamic movement. And then go ahead and walk your hands back toward your feet. And now slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. And let's get some movement through the shoulders, circling to the back, a little rotation through your spine. So we're breaking it down today into kind of simpler movements. Doesn't mean it's not as hard. One more each side, and then hinge it forward, reverse flies. Now our first exercise today, we're gonna start with our deadlift. So you're gonna grab a heavy weight, anywhere between, you know, it depends on where you're at, um, go ahead and release. But anywhere between like 10 and 20 pounds, maybe up to, upwards to 30. Okay, now feet are hip distance apart. We go for 45 seconds, time is on. So hinging it forward and then squeeze your glutes to return. Posterior side of the body, glutes and hammies, abdominals are working here. So we're gonna run through this three times and we have four exercises. Now we have about 20 seconds left and then we're gonna go into a goblet squat. So you're gonna set one heavy dumbbell down 10 seconds. Here we go in five, three, two, and one. Set one dumbbell down, rack it up to the shoulders. We squat, half lift, down, stand. Squat, half lift, down, stand. Just go at your own pace here, burning out the quads a little bit more. So we're still working glutes and hamstrings, but a little bit more focus on the quads. Now our last two exercises, reverse lunges, and then we have curtsy lunges. So think of the weight that you're gonna grab coming up next. Alternating reverse lunges in three, two, one, good. Grab your dumbbells, and we're in it. So try to stick with this same weight for the reverse lunges and the curtsy. Just because we're going back to back. You wanna to try to utilize the entire time that you have. 20 seconds. Let's 
Doing good. Last 10 seconds. Hips stay square. Curtsy in three, two, one. Alternating, alternating. 30 seconds of break. Coming up next, we do it two more times. Can always do this body weight if you're getting any knee pain. Twenty seconds left. So we're targeting outer glutes here. Glute need. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two and one. You get 30 seconds off. Awesome work, guys. Now, round two is on in about 20 seconds. Starting with the deadlift. So, kind of get your weights organized here so that they're close by, so they're easy to grab. Okay, we have about five seconds. Pick it up. Time starts now. Back to our deadlift. Round two. Now, if you have a loop band at home, you can slap on a loop band, put it mid-calf or right above the knees. That always helps to add a little bit more resistance, a little more challenge. 15 seconds. And we go right into our goblet. Shoulders stay stable. Neutral spine. Three, two, and one. Set it down. Rack it up. Goblet, here we go. Down, half lift, and stand. Really sink it low as low as you can. Getting that half lift and then the stand. Reverse lunges and then curtsy coming up next. We're gonna stick to one side only, one side only. Five, three, two, swap out your dumbbell. If needed, here we go. At home, step your uh, right foot back. Right foot back. One side only. Same thing with the curtsy lunges. So we're gonna get a little bit more burn into that glute need for this one. Since we're sticking to one side. Good. You're almost there, 15 seconds. Then we go right into our curtsy. Five, three, two, here we go. Same foot stepping back. Let me give you a, a diagonal view here. You should start to feel your glute need. Starting to burn. We'll come back on our third set and complete the other side. 15. Ooh, almost there. It hurts. Three, two, finish out one more and rest, you get 30 seconds off. Nice job, everyone. Grab some water, keep walking around. Stretch out that left glute if needed. Okay, we go back to our deadlift. Five seconds, that went by really fast. And here we go. Hinging it forward, 
and return. You can always widen your stance a little bit more for your deadlift. That'll help a little bit more with stability, making your base a little bit wider. Now, if you're just starting your deadlift, really only come to the bottom of your kneecap, but if you're able to maintain a neutral spine, you can go as low as you want without getting pain into the low back. Five, three, two, one, goblet. Here we go. Last set. Two exercises left, then we're done with low body. You got it. Fifteen. Ooh. Legs are starting to get tired. That's a good thing. Three, two, and one. Reverse lunges. So at home, your left foot steps back, left foot. And again, you can do any of these exercises, body weight, if you feel like you're a little bit more of a beginner. But you always wanna get form down first before loading any exercise. Five seconds. Let's burn it out. Three, two, curtsy, last set. Here we go. We get 45 seconds off. Coming up next, I'll show you your last four exercises. Twenty seconds. Almost there, almost there. Stay with me. Keep it up. Got five. Three. Two. Finish it out. Awesome job. Now, go ahead and grab your mat if it is not laid out. The first exercise. We're gonna do a row variation. First one is gonna be a double arm row. Second exercise, um, we're gonna do a goal post. So that's gonna be with your lighter dumbbells. Third exercise, we bring it down to the floor, reverse fly. Last exercise, chest press. So supine, okay? A little bit more transition with this. But, I'm gonna set my heavy dumbbells off to the side so I have them. And we start with a row, double arm. Here we go, hinge you forward. So pull it up and back down. So again, we'll do different row variations. Fifteen. You're gonna grab your lighter dumbbells coming up next. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Lighter dumbbells. Full post. Elbows high. Open and close. Open and close. Shoulders. So we got biceps, deltoids, shoulders working. 20 seconds. Mm. 
10. We're gonna bring it down to the knees. Coming up next, reverse slides. In four, two, one, down to the knees, hinge. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So a little bit more back muscle. Still the deltoids. You may even still feel this in your biceps. Arms are bent. Chest press coming up next. Control the lift, control the lower. 15. 10. Come on. Give me four, three, two, one. Off to the side. Find your chest press position. Feet down to the floor or up to your tabletop, whichever you want to do. Elbows are going to be bent to about a 45 degree angle. So not 90 with the elbows directly out to the sides. If you're looking at your dumbbells, as you push it up to the ceiling, it's gonna make a V, V position. 10 left. Keep pushing, come on. Give me five, four, three, two, one more, one more. Good, set it off to the side. Gently roll yourself back up. We do it again, 25 seconds. Two more times. Shake out the arms. Use this time to adjust the weight if you need to change anything, either higher or lower. Now, this time for our row, single arm, single arm. Make note of which side that you are using. I'm gonna do my right side. So you would do your left if you're sticking with me. Here we go. Single arm row. Be careful of the weights around you so that you're not tripping and falling. Shoulders stay square, anti-rotation with this. So we're really isolating the posterior side of your body. Triceps, rhomboids, back muscles, lats. Exhale, pull, inhale, lengthen. So we have a combination of push-pull in this block two. Five, three, two, one more. Full post, here we go. Open and close. So again, breaking it down to a little bit simpler movements, but again, it doesn't mean that it's not as challenging. A little bit closer to muscle failure, hopefully, by the end of the workout. 20 seconds. We got this. Keep it going. I know it gets uncomfortable. That's when you start to see the progress. Three, two, one. Bring it down to the knees. Reverse fly. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Up and down. Use the tempo as a guidance. No movement through the spine. 15. Get the burn. Almost there. Four, three, Two, one, onto your back, chest press, same motion. Here we go. Feet flat or up to tabletop. Again, you're creating that V position at the top, 45 degree bend to the elbows. Oh, wow. 20. Eye gaze stays up to the ceiling. Five, 
10. Oh, my shoulders are on fire. Three, two, one, done. One more set. Ha! All right, gang. Last set here. Last set. If you stuck with me with a single arm row, you have the right arm rowing this time. Ooh. Start to pick up your dumbbell. Three, two, one. Begin. Last set here. Use that opposite arm to help support onto the thigh. Again, anti rotation, shoulders and hips are square. Keep breathing. So you're bringing that elbow into the side of the rib cage. There is such a thing as too much pull. So if you're pulling like all the way up, that's too high, it's too high. Okay, go a little bit past the rib cage. Three, two, one, and full post. Yeah, so with the row, you're going probably maybe like a foot um, higher than the rib cage. So about here versus like right here, because then it just starts to get into the upper traps and we want to stay into like mid back. Ten seconds. Reverse slides. We have two exercises left. This is it. Three, two, one, onto the knees. Let's go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Be mindful of where your head and neck are and your chin. We want to keep the back of the head long. Make sure that the head is not jetting forward or that you're looking up. Okay, that puts pressure into the back of the neck. We already have enough pressure and stress onto the upper traps in the neck. Let's not add more. 10. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Last exercise, let's push it here. Try to get into place as fast as you can. I know it's quick transition. Guess what? You have 25 seconds left and then you are done. Fifteen. Ten. Oh. Four. Three. Two. One. You are done. You made it. Set your weights off to the side. Let's give your hips a little stretch. So let's come into our figure four. Cross it over. Kind of push that knee away from the body. Ah, oh, you made it. You're done. Now that same leg, pull it into the chest, reach the opposite leg straight down to the floor. And now you're gonna cross it over into a little final rotation. May get a little popping, adjusting. Center it back out. Reach that same leg up to the ceiling, stretching the hamstrings. Wednesday workout done. It's always the best feeling. And then go ahead and release. Let's do the same thing other side. Cross it over figure four. Keep that top foot flexed. Helps to protect the knee. Tomorrow you have core plus stretch with Michelle. 
If you're over at JSB, we have our on-site class, which is cardio and core. Um, tomorrow's class is canceled, however, due to maintenance, but we'll get going again next Thursday. And then send the opposite leg straight, knee to the chest, and then cross it over, hold it here. And now reach that same leg up to the ceiling, stretching your hamstrings. Summer classes begin Monday, June 3rd. We have our employee email going out here pretty soon. Keep an eye out for that. That'll include all of the new Outlook meeting notices. Go ahead and release. Gently roll yourself back up to a seated position. And you guys, that's it, you made it. Awesome job today. Thank you for showing up. That's always the hardest part when you made it through the workout. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.